What's going on, everybody? It's your boy John the Gamer Dude here. Last episode, we took on the bulk of this area, and now we have a legendary cutscene. And here we go. What do we got? Now, I learned this from the core four. It does not matter what this is unless I want to keep it. Ooh. In a randomizer with randomized mo. This is going to be my only shot at Registill if I so choose to have it. Also, I'm recording this right after the last episode, so that's why there's no way out again. Whoops. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I've got two poison types. Steel super effective against rock. That doesn't matter for me right now. Fairy. I don't care. At this point, the resistances of steel are great. But its offensive utilization doesn't matter to me. Let's go for attempt two. It's to run again! We'll take Tehran. Obviously, we don't have a choice, but I, I will take a Tehran. And because my Pokeballs are very, very limited, I'm going to throw a Master Ball at this. I think that's probably a good idea. Because, I mean, unless this acts as if it's the Legendary, and then it has a high catch rate because of it. Guillotine. Doesn't seem like it acts like the legendary, which is rough and unfortunate, but yeah, no, it doesn't. Um, but having a move like guillotine definitely makes you a very interesting choice. For a second. My brain made it the same mistake it did last time. I saw Otis slip. Like, oh my god, it's guaranteed to hit. No, it's for it, it changed. It guaranteed to hit if it's a, an evasion Pokemon. And who knows? This thing may be guaranteed to hit regardless. Could have no guard. It's just not hitting us because our level. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use it. This is one of the higher levels we're going to come across. I think it's worth it. It's, it's a Pokemon that it's a normal in fighting. It's a really good typing for us. And obviously there's a name for this. Do 
you want it out of here? You have that's all the from the party or to the, your party from the box? Nope. What a relief! Now they can't use the ultimate weapon. You're amazing, S. Meister, a legendary Pokemon wanting to be your friend like that. It's unbelievable. What a starting the doing development. I would have not thought you were the chosen one. So this is the mighty Vettel. I expected more from a Pokemon called a legendary. You desire to help people. You need help from a human. What's going on with that outfit? Is that really you, Shizel? Oh my god, whatever. Asmizer already beat you, so what are you doing here? I've leveled up four levels in the time span it took you to get from here to there. Or there, from there to here. So the victory is using the ultimate weapon. And in order to do that, I need to reclaim the legendary Pokemon's power and set it. Send it to that weapon once again. I'll be taking the legendary Pokemon back now. This time, I will not lose. I too shall use a Mega Ring and a Mega Stone that you, you, you researched during your travels. I have a Force Mega Evolution. So, whatever your Force Mega Evolution is, is going to be sketch. I, I actually really wanted to make a Mega Gore for this fight, but I didn't have it in me. Clang Clang! Not a good lead when I have lead. Well! Actually, Spoopy's damage. Oh, Spoopy's not damaged. We got healed. We got healed. Okay. Then I'm going to coil. You know what, Spoopy? You're going to show Shy Soul that you need to not be underestimated. I believe that you can do that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Coil again. You are going to show why you cannot be underestimated, Spoopy. And we know we're faster, which is a big positive here. Flash Cannon does a decent bit. I'm going to coil again. This is getting greedy. But I'm going to do it. I'm thinking it's Flash Cannoning into Doom Desire, which Doom Desire is going to suck. Don't get me wrong. But Doom Desire can also not critical hit. And then we can Drain Punch most of that health back. How did you not live? Or how did you not die? How did it not die? That's a great question. Okay, that's another turn utilized. What do we got next? Terry leveling up. That makes sense. Rotom question mark. Watch to be Rotom fire. Rotom fan. That's level 62. Ah. I'm going to say that the likelihood is that I'm not faster. We have a Doom Desire attack on its way as well. And Electric is not the type I want to be fighting. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to heal. And scout. Blue Flare. Oh my god. And the Dooms are... Why a Blue Flare? One thing is for certain. Why a Blue Flare? We just added Spoopy 2. Gone. Gone. It dead. Doesn't exist anymore. Literally got in a one episode with him. Didn't even make it to an actual loud appearance. But here's my thought process, though, too. Blue Flare would have murdered anybody, realistically. I mean, it would have really not, but... It would have done damage to anybody. I, I'm gonna go to Satan. And unfortunately, the Doom Desire attack would have done most of the Pokemon in. But a Blue Flare is not what I was expecting. But I also could not risk any swap shenanigans with anybody, so... What do we got next? Golurk. Okay, that's fine. We raised our defense too, so... This Golurk should not be a problem. We should be able to handle it just fine.
Was that the ace? It might have been. 60.95, so it should be rounded up to 61. Scizor. Scizor, use Doom Desire as well. Jeez, why are you... A, you're like a just a, a Doom Desire setter, apparently. Little again, we're staying in. Poor Spoopy, like, again, I just, I don't know. I mean, we were at full. We chose to heal there. We, I mean, I, I, I mean... The f there's only a select few special flying moves, that being Hurricane and Aeroblast. So, realistically, I was anticipating that if I was going to die, I was dying to one of those. Um, I just don't know who to add to my team. Like, my team is rough, and so I want to make sure... I want to catch Pokemon. That's what I want to go do, right? So that's kind of going to be my my move here, is to catch encounters and figure out what I can even do, what's the most applicable situation. Because, again, we're losing wands left and right. This is Death Alley for a reason. We're heading to Friendship Bridge plus an 8th Gym Battle. Plus, add on top of all of that, you have the battles with um, the Elite Four and the Champion coming up as well. So, every, we're kind of, it's 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 make a break, and there's a few Pokemon on the team. I'm like, okay, I know I'm fine with them, but we're, like, losing Pokemon left and right is not an easy, this is, like, this game is not easy. And again, we knew that coming into this. Wog. Um, I know what I think. You know what I think? Even if there's only a little bit of something, it's still the best to share it. Even you managed to use Mega Evolution. That's because Gyarados shared his power with you, didn't it? It's not just Gyarados, but the other Pokemon, too. The legendary Pokemon is gone, so you can't use the ultimate weapon anymore, right? You don't have to worry about the future all by yourself. I think everyone should work together and make it better and be a more beautiful world. If that were possible, all wars would have been ended long ago. I only can see one future, one where selfish, foolish humans think about nothing other than themselves and steal more and more from one another. It's a tragic future. The original purpose of this device was to bring Pokemon back to life, but the ancient king transformed it into this ultimate weapon. Hmm. When the legendary Pokemon awakened, it took back much of its energy, its power, and that had sent, been sent to the ultimate weapon. There's not much power left, but there is enough for once to use it for once. Shady, Sycamore's people steals the weapon. It is a flower that has bloomed to no avail, just like me. But this ends here. I will show you the remaining power. What the remaining power can do. Shady, Mega, let's get out of here. Oh, I'm glad you are all safe. I really respect the courage and kindness you all showed. Thank you. We're all fine. We're not all fine. Actually, we're not. Um, Spoopy's dead. So, we're not all fine, Joy. But, you know what? I appreciate the thought process. Yep. As you you can see, we're doing great. Thanks for asking. We work together to see Pokemon connected to the stones of Route 10. I mostly left battling to bright with Bright Shadow to see Nendexio, though... Who are these Cena and Dexio you speak of? We're the best heroes! I hate when Pokemon does this. 
Who are these people you speak of, even though we're literally right here, but we have to just pretend to hide our identities? It's like, we, we, we clearly know it's Cena and Dexio, guys. So we won't have to deal with Bright Shadow anymore. Now I can go back to filling in my Pokedex. Of course you wanted to go back to doing your own thing, Jonas. But you know what? I appreciate the fact that you were here. So finally, it's over, right? We can go back to our adventure again? Let's go to Anastar City and start over from where we left off. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry that S Swoopy died. I have so much respect for you as a friend. And it's because I respect you that I want you to I want to beat you in battle as your rival. And I really mean it. I mean, we do soul links together because we... Uh, we usually are on the same wavelength, and we care about each other a ton. And then, you know, cage flow happened, and that was an interesting circumstance. So, I get it. You're amazing, Joy. You know that. I know that. Some people refuse to accept it, but you always have me. A long, long time ago. A very long time ago. The man made an ultimate weapon. Using it required the life force of many Pokemon. The Pokemon granted eternal life. Learned this. The resurrected eternal Pokemon left to the man's side. The man was surprised and sad. He had revived it so that it could be together. The day after day after day passed, but they would never meet. Eventually, he'll become more. He became a mere shell of a man, a man condemned to wander forever by the light of the weapon. And Pokemon that also wander eternally. Where is it now? What do I have to do to meet it? Poor AZ. He's like, my best friend's gone and is dead. And now I don't know what to do with myself because the very thing that, you know, made my existence really matter is now also gone. Thanks to Shy Soul. And now I'm going to continue walking around aimlessly, not knowing what the frick to do. And... It just, it, the life is great. <laughs> um, is basically what that was. Um, how can I? Also love how she said Anastar City when it's literally called YouTube Agus, but it's fine. Um, I just thought about that. I was like, you said the thing weirdly. I feel like there's a connecting pathway. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I was like, I swore there is. So yeah, we're going to go to the north, get some encounters. I think we get one, maybe two. But still, we can buy Ultra Balls. We need them. We need some form of catching. Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta figure out who I'm adding to the team because we lost another one. Didn't expect to lose Poopy that fast, to be honest. I actually think that I'm I'm willing to test and see if ice really was that big of a deal to our team. Get out here, Wesley. I have I have made my decision. Was ice really that imperative to the team? It feels like it shouldn't be, right? But it very well could have been the glue holding literally the entirety of life together. I could see it. And then once we get a sunstone, Oogleblip, you're next, buddy. You're not actually ever. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. That was an opportunity to add to Ron, and I just missed that opportunity. Oh, you have Illuminate. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, Teron. You have a trash ability. Gosh dang it. $171,000 now. Yeah, I'm gonna buy 20 Ultra Balls. We should not need a crud ton. We shouldn't. 
Will we? We well, probably will because it's inevitable that I would need more than I think I do. We don't have any statusing moves though now, do don't we? Yeah, nothing that truly statuses. Overcoat, then. Well, that's an interesting ability. Okay, yeah, this is a new route. We haven't been here. Route 16. Do we do we get two encounters here? That's a good question. Ooh. I do not trust the fairy girl. Well, I guess we will find we get the first encounter here. We don't get a choice. It's the sketch mice. It's it's Seth himself, guys. Of course, we've run into Seth here. We can catch Seth, right? Like, we shouldn't have a problem. I know we can't damage things, but we shouldn't have a problem trying to catch Seth, right? It's Seth. Oh my god, Seth. 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 It's, the world is okay. Seth just knows. Everything's a problem, guys. Sorry to tell you guys this. I guess instead of adding, uh, you know, freaking Glaceon out of haste, I could have... Well, uh, no, that's not how that works, John. It was either add Glaceon or have Smeargle on the team. And because that's how that works. I mean, I guess, okay, if I had to choose between Glaceon or Smeargle, I think doing it out of haste was... Was it was it likely? The better of two things? Dude, you are a Smeargle. I mean, you're lowering our attacks, though. So, um, I actually might be able to... Minus four, and it being plus one, and this is an attack-based move, I should be okay. Okay, I mean, so it's that charm simple beam. Oh, it has simple beam. We were minus six, actually. I mean, we already said it was Seth. was naturally a move that I would need there. So Smeargle wasn't the common encounter. You know what? Not mad. Didn't know that I would need Cut to um, to get to that, unfortunately. Okay, skip it as much as possible. Cool. Does that mean we have need Waterfall? Sure! You know, we'll take a Super Rod. Would have been nice to know about this a little bit sooner, but I saw Fisher's hut and was like, let's see. Yeah, we don't have surf on anybody, so I don't know if we can actually progress further. No, we can just get another King's Rock, but that's about it, it looks like. Without surf. And or waterfall, so that's our only counter there. Okay, cool.
And that's what connects to Dendamil. So, I mean, we've got the encounter that we missed, so that's nice. Uh, and now we get to continue going down towards Former Marine Town, which is where the Professor is located, but we're not going to fight Professor. But we do have a Route 17 to explore, so that's nice. Um, trying to think. Route 17. What dangers could lie ahead there? Like, what do I need to prepare for? Not 100% sure. Holla to perceive. Do you have a minute? I would like to talk face to face. Let's meet in Corway Town. I mean, yeah. We're, I mean, we're perfectly fine. Definitely didn't lose a Pokemon and you're down a Pokemon for the rest, like, not the rest of this in this log, but for now. Oh my gosh, things happened. It's fine. Route 18. What happened to 17? Oh, Route 17 is the other route. Never mind, I figured it out. <laughs> what happened to this route that we've already been on? Um, well, we've already been on it, so life's, life's good. Uh, 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 okay. I think that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea, but it's really not. It's just like, oh no, encounter possibility. Not like we were looking for that anyway. Okay. It's fine, I guess we can Terminus Cave first. <laughs> okay, it's not how that was supposed to go at all, but fine. I guess. There we go. Jeez. Our terminus cave encounter is Floatzel. Um. What level is this Floatzel? It's a download Floatzel. Huh. I'm gonna blaze kick it. It's not stab. Non stab, negative attack nature. We should be okay. Cool. Nice. That was a that was a hopefully super simple capture. I didn't really need to use an ultra ball on, but I mean, it's kind of weird, because I'm getting used to doing it. Ooh, I, in Corway Town, I should be able to use the Super Rod, because it has a waterfall. Um, that that will be next episode, but... Floatzel! I'm naming this... Miles... Miles per hour. You know what? I guess we're just not going to be able to catch a Pokemon. Uh, okay. Destiny wants us to catch it here. Right? Um. What? Oh, it's a horde. Ooh. Oh, we have options. So we got we got a Quilladen. Ho Oh is not on the table. Ho Oh is not on the table, so I'm gonna knock it out. Which I know you guys might be thinking I'm crazy for that, but I just I'm not in favor of that. My hope is that Troy stays alive. Really is my hope, and then I won't have a need for that. I mean, I guess Troy and Magic would have to stay alive for me to absolutely not have a need for that. I think under that same guise, 
that would mean that I'm going to have to get rid of... Uh... I'm going to have to get rid of Krabby. Shellos is still an option for me. Because, again, we have... So, we basically... Krabby's gone. Maximus would be cool, but no. This is where the decisions get rough. Because I don't have the knowledge on them to know, hey, this will be beneficial or no, this won't help us at all. Water and ground is quad weak to only grass. Grass is its only big major weakness, and is a Shellos is a really good Pokemon. We've got coverages for grass, kind of. We were talking about liking the the. the... Let's see, all three of these could be nice and useful for us. Um. I'm actually going to go ahead and say goodbye to Quilladin. I think. Chestnut is not bad, but again, that quad week to flying can be tough. But, I mean, KD stand, stand in, stood a large chance and did really well. No, I'm going to say goodbye to Chellos. It's between Drillbur... Oh, well. Maybe they can do something to impress me here. No. Sorry, Shellos. Poor Shellos, man. He's putting in the most damage to Troy, and I'm just over here like, no. Signal beam. Yeah, oh, that, that actually... Actually, that changed who got eliminated right there. That just changed my elimination. Quillinan. can't have a simple be Pokemon. It's, I'm going to choose the Excadrill. Or the future Excadrill, I think. I, for a second, was worried that it was actually going to not do what I wanted it to. Plus, I mean, to be fair, I also have a lot more physical utility than special utility, so. So, yeah, that's a good, I think that's a good decision. And then we can look at our cop Pokemon. Oh, well, I mean, if we can catch this thing. I guess it doesn't matter. Ah. <sighs> Accuracy does not matter for the point that we're at, so that's fine. Mud bomb. Just continue lowering my accuracy, I guess. It doesn't have a hundred percent or a hundred percent chance to do that, does it? Like there shouldn't there there shouldn't be a move that does that. I don't think there's a move that does that anyway. Mm. 
Now, Fissure and Oko moves are always moves on Pokemon that pique my interest, so to speak, because it's always like, hmm, how can it utilize this Oko move effectively? And I'm sure you've noticed that. I like I like Oko moves. They they suck in game, like when you're like when you die to them, but they're fun to utilize. Come on, you're a trover. Just freeze yeah, I was cause like come on. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna name you Rebel. Rebel. And now we're in Coraway Cor Town, and we can just go to the Pokemon Center from here, because that's fine. Perfect. We could have gotten probably the, um, no, we couldn't have. Like, we might have been able to get the next encounter. No, it makes no sense, too. Okay, this draw is not necessarily the button I wanted, but Magic Bounce with a Watt Mulberry, Charm, Simple Beam, Quick Attack, and Stockpile, Floatzel, <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> oh no, but it's not that fast right now. Oh my god, but what if it's what if it is that fast? Like choice scarf. Uh Drillbur. Pokemon. Here's some information about Drillbur. Sixty-eight base speed, which is not not great, all things considered. And impish is bad for speed, isn't it? No, it's bad for special attack, which is this thing doesn't need. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Kind of wish I didn't utilize. Wait, I can buy one, can't I? I can buy a PP Max. So I can have eight, and then hopefully get enough. Like, dude, I have a stupid strategy now. That's such a stupid strategy, but I'm going to utilize it. We have leopard berries. I can just plant the leopard berries. A leaf is not a threat anymore. Yes, Colleen. Do you get it, girl? Thank you for making my existence so much better. You know what I'm doing next? Definitely not. No, I can't per- Wait. I can't purposely lose a Mon even though literally you guys get to kill a Mon and open this up for me. It's fine. Sorry, I'm being stupid. Um, yeah, so I know what I'm adding to the party freaking next. <laughs> cool. And then I'm taking off like a... The Everstone or something. Like, we probably have one of those or something. Or I just continually hit freaking the button to stop the evolution, which that would be kind of triggering, not gonna lie, but... Oh, I guess if I'm choice scarfing it, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that. But until the champion battle, like Pokemon of the champion battle, oh my god, that'd be free. That way, I would do that. I would totally like just totally do that. That's funny. That's that's amazing. I don't. I didn't even check. Oh, uh, we had download. We knew that. Mild plus download. Good move set though. Really good move set though. Unfortunately for Tails, Miles Prower, um. 
He gets outshined by literally what I was talking about in the episode. That's amazing. I really, I really love the Okamu Pokemon because I, I, I always find it fascinating, and I've been waiting for the day that I get X. Gets X. Oh my god, I got X. 